So, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, this is a vertical focal axis, which is different than the last problem. So, um, now in this one, we really don't have much to graph except for the center, which I already kind of visualized where the center is. That's at the, sorry, the center is 0, 0. I know that's at the origin. There's really nothing else for me to plot, though. So I'm actually going to skip that step because what's really the point of just plotting the origin? I mean, I know where the origin is. There's nothing else for me to plot. The important thing is it tells us the vertical focus at focal axis. So unlike the last problem that I did, now I'm going to have my y over my a. Right? Because it's a vertical now this time. So y is over the a. Right? OK. So now we need to identify. Now we already know h and k. That's given to us. So now we just need to figure out a and b. Right? Well, remember, what is eccentricity, guys? Uh, a over c. c over a. So we know that a then has to equal 12, b equals 5, and c equals 13. Can you, guys make that, uh, can you guys make that decision with me? Does that make sense? Eccentricity is C over A. C over A. So all we need to do is then x squared over 12 squared is 144 minus, I'm sorry, that's y, x squared over b squared, which is 25, equals 1. 